Almost 70% of human body is made up of water and other fluids. To replenish those fluids, almost all the living beings need water in some form or another. But that water must be potable or drinkable. Drinking dirty water can lead to several health problems and diseases such as cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, hepatitis A, typhoid and polio. But where do we get clean water? Water covers about 71% of Earth's surface and 97% of Earth's water is found in the oceans, which is too salty for drinking, growing crops and most industrial uses. Only 3% of the Earth's water is fresh, which is found in glaciers, lakes and rivers. India is blessed with a lot of rivers, which in turn quenches the thirst of all the Indians. India has 764 river quality monitoring stations across 28 states for monitoring the quality of water in all the major rivers flowing in India. 359 of these stations, that is only 47% of total, have reported that the water from the river around their vicinity is fit for drinking after treatment and disinfection. Remaining 53% of the monitoring stations do not certify the water fit for drinking even after treatment. This means that water across less than half the river stretch is fit for drinking after treatment. But this is not the same for all the rivers. Some rivers are more polluted than others. Out of the data collected by Central Pollution Control Board during National Water Quality Monitoring Program for 15 rivers in India, it was seen that Ganga and Yamuna from northern part of India, Suvarnrekha from eastern part of India, and Pennai River from south India are the most polluted. Only 15.1% of the stations on Ganga, 23.4% on Yamuna, 21.4% on Subhanrekha and 20% on Penair have declared the water around their stretch fit for drinking after treatment. Krishna and Godavari rivers are a little bit better with 44.3 and 43.3% of the water stations declaring the water around their stretch fit for drinking after treatment. For Satlaj, Sabarmati, Mahi, Mahanadi and Kaveri rivers, this figure is more than 50%. The figures are 53.6. 58.3, 50, 61, and 58.1% respectively for them. For Brahmaputra, this figure is 68.6%. Tapi, Narmada, and Bias are the least polluted rivers with 84.6, 90.2, and 94.6% of the monitoring stations declaring the water fit for drinking around their vicinity. The most essential commodity is being polluted to such extent that it does not remain fit for consumption even after treatment. Hence, everything possible must be done by the stakeholders to keep the rivers clean, since only 3% of the all available water on earth is drinkable, isn't it? This is all for today guys. I hope that you have liked it. Please subscribe for more of such videos. See you in the next episode. Till then, check care.